Hello and welcome to another session of daily prelims practice. Here we will take up MCQs based on important news and articles from the Hindu and Indian Express newspaper. Topics for today's discussion are displayed on your screen. Let's begin the discussion. So the first question of today's discussion is based on this photograph which featured on page number 1 of the Hindu newspaper. Photograph depicts greater flamingos in the Vardla wetland in the state of Gujarat. Now this wetland site is located near the city of Ahmedabad and particularly important feature of this wetland is that it is considered as a satellite wetland of Nal Sarovar Dam that is a Ramasar site. Now UPSC has been previously asking question based on important Ramasar sites located in India as in 2014 it has asked a question based on following Ramsar sites. So we have taken up a question on the similar line considering the latest entrants in this list. You have to identify the correctly matched pair. Your given options are Yashwant Sagar, Tampara Lake and Shalberg Wetland Conservation Reserve. Now Yashwant Sagar is a dam reservoir on Gambhir River located in the city of Indore in the state of Madhya Pradesh. So this pair is not correctly matched. While Tampra Lake is a freshwater lake situated on the right bank of the Rushi Kulya River in Odisha. So this is a correctly matched pair. One interesting fact about Tampra Lake is the use of explosives during the Battle of Ganjam between British East India Company and French colonists in 1766 created a large depression which later became this Tampra Lake. Now third pair is also incorrect. As this wetland conservation reserve is located in district Srinagar of the state Jammu and Kashmir. So as you had to find how many pairs are correctly matched, your answer would be A that is only one pair. Answer for this PYQ is B that is only two pairs. Our next question is based on this news which featured on page number 6 of the Hindu newspaper. Now Indian Space Research Organization that is ISRO has made an announcement of opportunity to allow scientists and researchers to analyze data from the first dedicated Indian astronomy mission that is AstroSat. Now development and news related to the space research is pretty much important from the UPSC perspective. As in 2020, UPSC has provided description of an experiment and asked you to find out to which project this experiment or the description is related. So let's take up today's practice MCQ. Question says with reference to AstroSat consider the following statement. Statement 1 says it enables the simultaneous multi-wavelength observations of various astronomical objects with a single satellite. Now this statement is correct. As it is one of the unique feature of the AstroSat mission that it enables the simultaneous multi-wavelength observation of various astronomical objects with a single satellite. Now statement 2 says it is a joint effort of NASA and the Indian Space Research Organization that is ISRO. Now this statement is incorrect. As AstroSat is the first dedicated Indian astronomy mission aimed at studying celestial sources in X-ray, optical and UV spectral bands simultaneously. It is a multi-institute collaborative project involving the Inter-University Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics that is IUCAA, ISRO, Tata Institute of Fundamental Research in Mumbai, Indian Institute of Astrophysics Bangalore and Physical Research Laboratory that in Ahmedabad. So as you had to find the correct statements, our answer would be A that is one only. Now answer for this PYQ is D that is Evolved LISA. Inspiration for our next question comes from this news which featured on page number 6 of the Hindu newspaper. Now the Kerala Forest and Wildlife Department along with its counterpart in the state of Tamil Nadu and Karnataka are preparing to organize the first synchronized vulture survey in selected region of the Western Ghat. Now vultures are pretty important species found in India and have their conservation status ranging from endangered to critically endangered. Now UPSC has been asking question based on important species in news and the conservation efforts related to them. As in 2020, UPSC has asked a question based on Barasingha. On a similar line, we have taken up a practice question based on the IUCN status of various species of vulture found in India. 
क्वेश्चन से इज एज पर द आई यू सी एन रेड डेटा लिस्ट विच अमंग द फॉलोइंग वल्चर स्पीशीज इज आर क्रिटिकली इंडेंजर्ड ऑप्शन आर इंडियन वल्चर इजिप्शियन वल्चर रेड हेडेड वल्चर एंड वाइट रम्ड वल्चर यू हैव टू चूज द करेक्ट कोड फ्रॉम द गिवेन ऑप्शन नाउ टोटल ऑफ नाइन स्पीसीज ऑफ वल्चर्स आर फाउंड इन इंडिया आउट ऑफ दीज नाइन स्पीसीज सिक्स स्पीसीज आर रेजिडेंट नेमली व्हाइट रम्ड इंडियन वल्चर स्लेंडर बिल्ड वल्चर रेड हेडेड वल्चर बियर्डेड वल्चर एंड इजिप्शियन वल्चर वाइल द थ्री स्पीसीज आर माइग्रेटरी विच इंक्लूड सिनेरियस हिमालयन ग्रिफॉन एंड ग्रिफॉन वल्चर आउट ऑफ दीज नाइन स्पीसीज व्हाइट रम्ड वल्चर अलॉन्ग विद स्लेंडर बिल्ड इंडियन एंड रेड हेडेड वल्चर आर क्रिटिकली इंडेंजर्ड वाइल इजिप्शियन वल्चर इज इंडेंजर्ड द बियर्डेड Cinereus and Himalayan Griffon are near threatened. Only the Griffon vulture is of least concern. So, as you had to find the species which are critically endangered, we know now that Indian vulture along with red-headed vulture and white-rumped vulture are critically endangered. So, our answer would be D, that is one, three, and four only. Answer for this PYQ is A, that is Kanha National Park. Inspiration for our next question comes from this news which featured on page number 1 of the Indian Express newspaper. Now marking 1 year of the Ukraine war, Russian president Vladimir Putin has announced his exit from the START treaty, which was the most significant nuclear treaty between US and Russia. Apart from exiting this treaty, Russian president talked about strengthening various connectivity project including International North South Transport Corridor that is INSTC. Now UPSC has been asking question based on important groupings which are important from the perspective of Indian foreign policy. As in 2016, it has asked a question based on Gulf Cooperation Council. Apart from this, UPSC has also asked question based on Mekong Ganga project. So let's take up today's practice MCQ. Question says, which of the following is not a member of International North South Transport Corridor, that is INSTC? Given options are Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, and Turkmenistan. Now, INSTC is a multimodal transportation which was established in 2000 by Iran, Russia. and india for the purpose of promoting transportation cooperation among the member states now this corridor connects indian ocean with the persian gulf and the caspian sea via islamic republic of iran then it is connected to st petersburg and north european countries via russian federation the instc was expanded to include 11 new members namely republic of azerbaijan republic of armenia Republic of Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Republic of Tajikistan, Turkey, Ukraine, Belarus, Oman, Syria and Bulgaria as an observer. So from the given option Turkmenistan is the only country which is not a member of INSTC. So our answer would be D. Answer for this PYQ is A that is Iran. Inspiration for our next question is based on this article which featured on page number 10 of the Hindu newspaper. Now India is experiencing a colder than normal winter which is being attributed to a climate phenomena known as La Nina. So this article is about what is El Nino, what is La Nina and how it affects global climate patterns particularly cyclogenesis and monsoon. Now important geographical phenomena have been a recurring theme in UPSC examination. As in 2017 UPSC has asked a question based on Indian Ocean dipole. So we have taken up a similar question based on El Nino. You have to consider following statement and find the correct statement out of them. Statement 1 says during this event trade winds are even stronger than usual pushing more warm water towards Asia. to find whether this statement is correct or not let us understand this phenomena through following pictures now in normal air what happens due to strong trade winds the warm water get piled up in the western pacific or in other words towards the asia while on the western coast of south america there is an upwelling of cold water 
Now during El Nino air, this phenomena get reversed. Trade winds get weaker and due to which a counter equatorial current gets developed. Which brings back this piled up warm water towards the western coast of South America and thus this cold current situation here off the coast of Peru and Ecuador ceases. Now refer to this picture, during El Nino air what happens? Yellow color represents the warm water. So, so the temperature of the eastern part of the Pacific gets warmer while western part gets colder. And this phenomena further affects the Indian Ocean also. As in normal air, this part of Indian Ocean which remains colder gets warmer too. Thus creating a low pressure zone and affecting the rainfall in India. So the statement one says during this event trade winds are even stronger. This is incorrect as they become weaker pushing more warm water towards Asia. This is also incorrect as as due to weak trade winds counter equatorial current brings back warm water towards the eastern part of the Pacific Ocean. Second statement says during this event severe droughts occur in Australia, Indonesia, India and Southern Africa. Now this statement is correct as this event brings along warmer water towards the western coast of South America and have devastating effects on marine life of the coast of Peru and Ecuador. It also brings severe droughts to Australia, Indonesia, India and Southern Africa. While California, Ecuador and Gulf of Mexico witness heavy rain. So as you had to find the correct statements, our answer would be B that is 2 only. Answer for this PYQ is B that is 2 only. Now last question of today's session is based on this news which featured on page number 14 of the Hindu newspaper. Now Indian National Trade Union Congress that is INTAC is going to have its 33rd plenary session. And in this session it is contemplating to demand its parent body that is Congress party to go back to the Nehruvian path of mixed economy. Now working class movement and information related to it have been an important theme for UPSC examination as in 2018 UPSC has asked a question based on Hind Mazdoor Sabha. So let's take up today's practice MCQ. Question says with reference to the working class movement in the colonial India consider the following statements. Statement 1 says Madras Labour Union was the first trade union in India with regular membership. Now this statement is correct. As the Madras Labour Union formed in April 1918 is generally considered to be the first trade union in India. BP Wadia, a nationalist leader and an associate of any descent was instrumental for its organization. Workers from trades such as tramway, rickshaw pullers, etc. joined the trade union in the initial stage. For the first time in India, there was a regular membership and the members were to contribute one ana as monthly subscription. Now, statement 2 says, at the Amritsar session of Congress of 1919, Resolution was adopted to promote labor union in the country. Now this statement is again correct. As Indian National Congress always had an ambivalent stance towards the working class movement. In 1918, Congress leaders began to take interest. In 1919, at the Amritsar session, resolution was adopted to make provincial committees to promote labor union in the country. Statement 3 says the working class were granted representation in the legislative councils for the first time in 1935. Now in the 1920s, the colonial state and also some employers realized the usefulness of trade unions as legitimate channels for negotiations. This was in response to the granting of representation to the labor in the legislative councils in the Government of India Act of 1919 and not 1935. So this statement is incorrect. So as you had to find the correct statements, our answer would be A that is 1 and 2 only. Answer for this PYQ is D that is Ashok Mehta, T.S. Ramanujam and G.G. Mehta.